Hey friends, today's a new day. So what I'm gonna do, you know, coming outside and, you know, doing my morning chores and stuff, I just, I feel like I want some soup. And it's very rare for me to want soup. I normally want soup when it's cold or when it's, when it's like, one of the kids are sick or I'm sick, but like with a cold or something. Um... I'm going to make some soup and I'm going to show you how I make it. And it's super easy. What I like is minimal ingredients. If it's like, my rule is like if there's six ingredients and more, I don't make it. So. Okay, friends so basically I cut up a sack of potatoes I cut up two small sacks of carrots and I cut up one whole onion and it was a large onion what I'm gonna do is because I only have um, one container of chicken broth what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the container of chicken broth in here but I'm also gonna fill it up with water and put chicken flavoring because I mean you got to do what you got to do in times of of need you know what I mean so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll add my spices when I come back um, I'll tell you what I've added okay so I have these little smokies left over from freezer cooking that I did um, I did some um, pigs in the blanket and pizza rolls and I don't I don't need these I have this many left from the huge package so this is gonna be the protein that's gonna go into the soup what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut each one in half because they're super small. I mean, like, if you look at my finger and look at the little sausage, it's not big at all. So I'm gonna cut it in half, each one in half, and then I'm gonna add them to my pot. And that, like I said, that's gonna be the protein. I was gonna do eggs instead, but I think that this is good a good way to use the meat or whatever you, meat you have on hand. So far, what I put in there is chicken bouillon. I put in parsley flakes. I put in... Um, garlic salt, regular salt, pepper, garlic powder, and uh, I think that's it. I said pepper, right? I don't know if I said pepper. But that's what I put in there. Um, when you mix it, this is what it looks like. Now, when the broth is like a light yellow, you know you did correctly. This is super easy. Minimal ingredients. Um, stuff I already had on hand. Yes, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. Ooh, look at my son washing all those dishes. And my daughter cleaned the toilet. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm fixing it. You're fixing it because yeah. you're Mr. Fix It? Yeah. Good job. Is it loose? Yeah. Okay, fix it. So, um, I like watching him when he has, uh, his little art studio set up. He's doing little pictures. I love these pictures. Um, I'm going to do some food prep right now. I got tomatoes in there and I have bell peppers in here. I'm going to put them in sandwich bags and freeze them. I like to chop them up already with my chopper. 
I like to chop them, put them in bags, freeze them, and then basically with the, the rolling pin, whenever I need a little bit of it, it just saves time. Um, and I just break it apart and use what I need for my recipe. I'm running low on bell peppers um, that are cut up already, so that's what we're gonna do right now. what I end up with after all of this chopping and cutting I don't I didn't realize that these tomatoes went bad so I ended up getting two and a half sandwich bags of eight tomatoes and then there's 12 be bell peppers between these four sandwich bags um, so basically four in each bag uh, normally I do quart size bags and I do a lot um, this month we were a little bit lower on our budget and bell peppers were not on sale so I got what I could and that is this mess this is what what happens when I do food prep but like I said whenever you're done you just put them in the freezer whenever you need some bell pepper when you need some tomato actually this tomatoes normally I slice them and I just put them in oh he's showing me that yeah okay um, I just slice them and I put them in my recipes. I don't even like break them up. I just literally just dump them in there in the pot or whatever it is that I'm cooking. Um, so yeah, that's a good way to save money and time because chopping takes so much time. I will link below um, the link to this chopper. It's amazing. I got it at HEB, but I realized that some people um, don't have HEB because you're not in Texas. So I will link... One that's similar, I know that Walmart has one and it's very affordable. This is what the soup looks like when it's done and it smells so good, I can't wait to eat some. Super easy, minimal ingredients. Easy, easy, easy.